Kev and Veronica, fantastic neighbors. There's nothing they won't do for each other. I never realized how little sex I was having till V and Kev moved next door. And... Yes, boss. No boss. Why shouldn't he ride around in style? Oh, you just made that up. Because, <laughs> you know, you can throw that <laughs> Any time you might do it. I'll do it right there. <laughs> you cheap prick. And you need to see somebody. Normal guys fall asleep after sex. Not Kev. Oh, no. Well, you think it's their own fucking phone. No fucking money. Yeah. Well, me neither at this rate. I love you. What the hell? What are you doing? I'm here to tell you something. I mean, I'm here to ask you something. How did you get so drunk in the middle of the afternoon? Veronica Fisher, will you do me the honor of being my wife? Yes! Yes! Oh. I love you. Baby. Hey! Mm -hmm. Okay, I know this is silly, but I'm really starting to get excited about this whole... Can't marry you, Veronica. I'm already married. She's beautiful. She's a head case. She used to throw plates at me. She couldn't handle her booze. That's how I got scars in the back of my neck. Baby, you have no idea how many times I wanted to tell you over the years, but the more time went on, the more unreal it all seemed. You look like a douchebag with that mullet. Oh, I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, 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 damn. Baby, come on. That would have sucked. <laughs> Here's the one with the cleft palate. A cleft palate person before they're born. It covers all of the pre canon material necessary for you to get married with God's blessing. Uh, could you excuse us for just a second, please? It'd be kind of fun to do it at a church outing, huh? Veronica, that man in there is a priest. He's gonna require a license, a marriage license. And I'm pretty sure bigamy is still a felony in the state of Illinois. Why'd you let your mom drag us down here? You know that mama wasn't gonna take no. What about Fiona? Wasn't she gonna marry us? Relax, baby. I got this. You know what, mama? We already have someone that's gonna do the wedding for us. It, because that is not a wedding in the Lord's eyes. Go ahead, tell him, father. Tell him. Look, all I wanted was to own my own home. And maybe some small kitchen appliances for you, for me, for our home. Maybe some kids someday. I thought you didn't want to have any kids. Based on what? You saying how much you hate them? Uh, yeah, other people's. But I might not mind having a baby cab running around. Little tomorrow person. What? Well, that's what I call little mixed race babies. Tomorrow people. Little people of tomorrow. What are we gonna do? Maybe we should just call it off. No, not a chance. Baby, listen, this is our time. We're gonna get fake married. And nothing's gonna stop us. Tomorrow, people? Tomorrow, people. The problems never cause you undue anxiety, nor the desire for earthly possessions dominate your lives. But may you heaven? Amen. Amen. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Turns out, Kevin, mm. Veronica, may you always own. Oh, oh sweetheart. May the good Lord watch over you in your new home. Oh, thank you, Mama. Thank you. Five hundred dollars? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> we get.
get in a Barbie house, baby. <laughs> okay, Gallagher's the only family I got, so let's put this on film, huh? Wait, wait. Did it, it's on, it's on, wait, did it go? Go, 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 I want some food, Mommy. Wake up. Mommy. Kev, we're only taking in a foster kid for a week to get the money to pay for my stupid parking tickets. That's it. For like a hotel. Yeah, I know, but... I'm secretly hoping you like it so we get to keep the kid longer, because I want to do dad things. Not a secret anymore. And it's going to change our lives too much. No, it won't. Come on. We walk around the house naked half the time. Shoot tequila for breakfast and swear up a storm. You think we're going to be able to do that with a kid around? Yeah, but who cares? You know what? I live with some crazy-ass foster parents. But it's better than being brought up in a group home. And just don't get too excited. We're going to get our money and kick the little brat to the curb. All right, fine. Now, come here and let me suck a yo tit, mommy. Mm -mm. Come on, let me suck a yo tit. Mm -mm. I need some milk. <laughs> I need some breakfast. Mm -mm. Fall when my foster dad left me. What if it's a girl? Then she's gonna learn some kick-ass moves. Kip off face left, spins right, <laughs> he's at the 30, the 20, the 10, touchdown! <laughs> Story of hers, not to mention she thought I wanted to have sex with her today. What? Yeah, sex. 13-year-old girl. Who knows what crazy family she's gonna get if we give her back. Kevin, we're not keeping her. I think we should until she gets a permanent home. We can help her live like a normal child. This is none of our business. We signed on for it. No, you signed on for it. I signed on for the money. Where are you going? I'm sleeping on the couch. French toast. Hey. Hey. We're having French toast. Cool. I'm gonna go take a quick shower. I'll be right back. Could I ask a favor, please? Sure, sweetie. If I'm going to be staying here for a while, would it be all right if my son Jonah came to visit? Just be yourself.